Welcome back, everybody, to Icarus. Today, we have a few chores on our list. So in the last episode, or maybe even the episode before, we claimed the food trough, the water trough, saddle, animal bed, basically everything that we need in order to tame a moa. So I think first order of business here is number one. Let's upgrade our base to stone and let's grab a moa to use for the rest of this playthrough on Olympus here. So I do remember seeing some moas out in this area north of our base. So I think our first order of business for today will be to craft up the items we need to tame the moa and then go out and find one for ourselves. So let's get those crafting up right now. After, take a little nap here. Good morning. Deactivate this. Let's eat one of these before it expires. Punch our crafting bench for some reason. And then look at what we need. Food trough, water trough. So it just seems like wood, sticks, nails. And then for the animal bed, it's going to be some normal animal hide. And then some leather and hide in order to make the basic riding saddle. So let's see if I remember where all my stuff is. Let's just grab all of this actually. Put it in here so we know where it is. Craft up the animal bed and the saddle. We're going to need about 40 nails. We'll craft up 40 nails worth here. Get that going. Craft those up. And then we'll also need wood and sticks. So we'll grab that from here. Wood, sticks. Get our nails. Oh, we already had six. Get our food trough. I'm missing some wood. Looks like we have a visitor outside. Or maybe not. Oh, we have a deer roaming around. And let's get our water trough. Okay, so that's everything we need to tame an animal, but in order to keep one fed, we're going to need something to feed it. So let's go ahead and grab some more wood, craft up a few of these plots right now. Craft up three for now. Okay, let's grab those. For now, I think I can just stick it all on the ground outside. Or maybe up on this roof. Why not? Just for now. Get these deployed. And now, as far as seeds go... We have some berries, some wheat... I think the thing that we really want, though, is soybeans. Let's go out and see what we can find. So in addition to some food for our MOA, I'm going to want to find the ingredients that we need to craft this stuff as well. So that's going to be lilies, yeast, pretty much just lilies and yeast. Um, and I have a bunch of wheat already, so maybe we grow that as well. Oh. Kind of juked me there. So that's first order of business for today, is do a little seed gathering. So I'm going to hop out into the open world and see what we can find. So we found some lilies here. Let's go ahead and gather these up. 
Uh, carrots. Didn't get a seed. Let's keep searching. Okay, right over here we have a ton of soybeans. So this will be great to keep our moa fed. They grow very fast, and a lot of them grow at the same time. So that's a great crop to keep your animal fed. Now let's see if we can find some yeast. So I do remember seeing a bunch of yeast in the area where I fought those rabbits last time. So I'm going to head over there. Grab that up. So here's our yeast here. Let's go ahead and grab that up. A bunch of that. We have the seeds, we have the yeast. Might as well just get all of it while we're here. And let's head back to our base. Some yeast right on the bank of our lakeside base here. So we're going to stash all of the medicine-related plants in here for now. And then the soybeans. Let's go ahead and plant maybe two soybeans and one wheat. Or actually maybe just one soybean and two wheat. That should be fine. One soybean. Forgot the wheat seeds. flower for our health enhancement tonics as well. Okay. Drop these seeds in here. Spoiled plant. I'll just hold on to the rest of this for a second. Now as far as where we place our moa, I think maybe we can just get away with putting it up here for now. Once it's tamed. However, before it's tamed, they tend to wander into danger quite a bit. So I think I'm going to want to make a little pen for it. Maybe right here. Place our water trough and our food trough here. And then we'll get that blanket animal bed. Is that out here as well? It says it's colliding with something. I'm not quite sure what. Okay. We have it down. So that's everything that we need for the MOA. Let's get our veggies in the food trough. And then we'll take this wheat, make up a bunch of flour with it. Um, I'm going to need the flour recipe. Where would that be? Here. We have one more point. I'll make a bunch of flour with that. Deposit the rest of our items here. I don't need these tea leaves. I'm just going to sort out my inventory a little bit here. Okay, and I'm also going to craft up some tree sap because we need tree sap for our health enhancement tonics. 
and with just that we should be able to craft a good amount. Let's take all 25 of those. All right, and we have some healing. We have to close the door. We can make 21 of these. I think for now, let's just make 10. Save some of that flour. But we'll let that craft up. Then as far as this pen goes, I'm going to make up a few walls as well here. took a little bit of doing, but we've made a tiny little pen for our MOA here. Again, this is really just a super basic starter base. I'm not going to really think about designing it much until we can upgrade a stone. And once we can, then I think we're going to actually put a little bit of effort into how the base looks. But for now, form over function, or <laughs> function over form, and uh, we're just going to leave it at that for now. So I am about to journey north and see if we can find ourselves a MOA to capture. So a MOA is so extremely valuable in this game. Uh, number one, because of how fast it is. It's by far the fastest way to get around Icarus, um, mounted or otherwise. We have another cave right here. Let's just pin this. Um... But not only does it move fast, but it moves fast despite how heavy your character's inventory is. So I can have an inventory completely filled with metal ores, be completely overburdened at literally every single spot in here filled with iron ore. I hop on the back of a MOA, and the MOA moves at a completely normal speed, regardless of how heavy my character is. So that's really the power of the MOA. Um is you can just move at top speed no matter how much you have in your inventory. So it's an absolutely vital creature to grab for any playthrough on any map. Times like these adventuring around these maps that I'm just reminded of how beautiful this game is. The scenery really doesn't get much better than this in any game. Just take it in. Enjoy the peace and tranquility while you can, because on Icarus, it doesn't usually last very long. As I was saying. That's a bear. Let's avoid him for sure. So I'm kind of just taking my time. I'm using this opportunity to open up a lot of the map that I hadn't seen yet. So we're just gonna keep on trucking this direction and hopefully we find a MOA soon enough and not have to worry about fighting that bear on the way back. So we've made it pretty much to the arctic biome. We have bears and wolves all over the place out here. But no moas. So I think I'm just going to start circling back and hopefully we get a different set of spawns on the way back. 
At least the view is nice. For now. Until a severe weather event begins and makes everything a little bit less beautiful. That's always one of the main challenges of going out on a long sort of hike like this is you can get caught out by the weather pretty easily on Icarus. Fortunately, there are ways to escape it. You can just dig a hole into the side of a rock and avoid the damage from the storm that way. As long as we're safe. The main issue is that the storm is going to make it difficult to hear the voice of any MOAs around here. So we're just going to have to keep an extra sharp eye out for any big birds. Alright, so the red part of the storm is coming. I think it's about time we find a rock and think about bunkering up inside of it. This rock will be maybe adequate. Let's see. All right. We're just going to wait out the red part of this storm here, and I will be back with you guys once things have blown over a little bit. That's terrifying. I think we're safe from falling trees inside of the rock, though. Let's just stay hunkered down and hold on. Alright. So the worst of it is over. It's still gusting pretty hard outside, but we're through the red part of it. Let's get back on our journey here and see if we cannot get ourselves a big ostrich to ride on. Ouch. That is a bear. You just saw me. And I heard in a moa as well, just now. Okay, the bear's still coming. We're gonna have to circle around. The bear is still coming. the bear. Maybe not. I still hear him roaring. Don't see him. But we need to go for that moa. pretty late out here. I am 80% certain I heard a MOA. Somewhere around here. But maybe not. Yes, I did. Oh, yes, I did. And there is a child with it. That is so perfect. Let's go ahead and grab this. And we got ourselves a moa. As long as we can get it past the bear. All right, 
Let's go home, buddy. Let's make sure we avoid the bear. Um, so these moas are very fast, so you can pretty much just sprint all the way home, and they'll be able to keep up with you. Fortunately, that's a deer and not a bear. Let's just stick to the side of this rock wall here. And mosey on back to our house. And of course I find another MOA immediately in this direction. I think I might as well grab two of them. If I can. No reason not to. Alright. Let's get these boys back home. We are in the clear here. We got our two Moas. Just get them in the pen here. If they want to cooperate. Doesn't look like they want to cooperate here. Come over here, guys. And then head on in. All right. We got them in. Okay, so they're going to need some water. Let's go ahead and put a little bit in here. We'll grab a little bit more for them. Alright, so we got food, we got a bed, water, and we got two moas taming up. Let's keep them penned in there. Might as well grab this wheat and soybeans where we can. Drop those extra soybeans in here. Make sure they don't escape. And let's hit the sack for today. That was a good that was a good little adventure. So we're going to want to make a second saddle for our second mower. Get that taken care of. Get the rest of our stuff away for now. Craft up a little bit more flour, I suppose. We got a ton of meat in our inventory. So I had to move the herbalism bench over here uh, because it wouldn't craft if I opened the door. So we are very, very limited on space now. Also have stringy meat. Too many types of meat. Let's just turn this into animal fat as well. But now that we have our moas, we can really look into doing some heavy mining. Once these boys grow up, we can start roaming around with maximum inventory capacity and not have to worry about moving at a snail's pace. Definitely looking forward to that. So now that we have those MOAs, I think it's time to seriously start thinking about upgrading to stone building pieces and expanding our base. So we're going to want the masonry bench, which is 120 iron nails. Let's get those crafting. We'll need 12 ropes. 12 leather and 80 wood. Uh, not waste our lantern here. Yeah, we need a few more ropes. Let's go ahead and make 10 more here. And there's level 16. Very nice. 
Let's get the wood. 12 ropes. Just all these ropes. Our nails and then some leather. Leather. Nails. And there we go. Masonry bench. Very nice. Masonry bench is completed. We really don't have any space for it in here. <laughs> but for now, I think I'm just going to stick it in the middle of the floor like everything else. This is a disaster. We have no space whatsoever in here. We have just enough space to get around. Uh, but yeah, we are, we are cramped in here. I could just build some more wood walls and make it a little bit more comfortable, but we are going to completely rebuild our base, get a stone structure going, and have a real house for once, not just a little wooden block of tofu here. So in preparation for that, we are going to need a lot of stone. Right now we have a good amount, but we're going to want to build a pretty large building here. Every single one of these wall pieces is 20 stone. Roofs are 20 stone. Pillars, 6 stone. And of course, all of that iron and leather as well. We have a decent supply of leather. I think we should be able to get by with this. Um, but, for the time being, let's get to mining some stone. So we also did level up, and we have a bunch of points to spend here. So I think I'm going to just put all five of the points into this tree. Start working towards the seasoned log smith there. Um, let's put the other one right there, and then our solo points. We have one more solo point to spend here. Look at us, a lot more wood yield. I think for now, yeah, let's just put it right here. And then our next point, we're going to be getting health monitor so we can finally, finally see animal health bars. So we're looking forward to that next point for sure. But let's get back to mining stone. Or actually before that, I was thinking something that I actually really haven't tried out at all yet was the potbelly stove. And maybe crafting this will give us access to some foods that will give us an experience rate buff so we can level up even faster if we're using the right foods here. So let's check this out. Crafted at the crafting bench, 40 iron, six copper, 10 epoxy. Let's craft it up. All right, there's our pot belly stove. We're very low on copper, um, as well as iron. We're going to need a ton of iron for our base expansion as well. But for now, let's just see what this pot belly stove is all about. Again, just stick it in the middle of the floor here. <laughs> and let's see what we can do. So any good foods with an experience buff. So flatbread... Of course there's bacon, but we haven't seen any pigs in this biome, so that's not really an option. Okay, so upon further review, unfortunately the only food that we can really make that gives us an experience boost is the flatbread. I don't know if I want to spend a tech point on flatbread research, if I'm being honest. Um, there is the smoker in tier 3, I believe, yeah. Wait, where is that? Smoker. Is that also? Yes, right here. So the smoker does definitely give you a variety of different recipes. The potbelly stove, I've really never crafted this before, except for um, when it's required in certain missions. But I haven't really investigated the list of recipes. So, unfortunately, if our goal is experience gain, the potbelly stove is really not an option. Um, but just as a way to cook your food quickly, 
it is superior to the campfire, that's for sure. So, that's unfortunate, but at least we have a little bit of a quicker way of cooking meat if we ever need it. With that being said, let's just get back to mining our stone as we wait for our moas to grow up. Dog. I put all my berries in the food box. And we're running low on food. Whatever. Let's just mine. Alright, so I've been mining stone. Oh, one of our moes has finished growing. Very cool. Uh, but what I was going to say is, with this talent, minus 25% over encumbrance penalty. As you can see, I'm fully over encumbered right now. But with the sprint button down, you move actually very quickly when completely over encumbered. So that is a really great perk. 100% recommend getting it. Um, but for now, let's dump all this stone in our box here. And grab the saddle for our moas. First things first. Ranganui. Good name. Great name. We'll get a saddle on you. Set you to stay. And then we also have Tahiri. Very nice. Welcome to the team, guys. Let's make sure you're set to stay. Let's get him in the pen here. And we are ready to go with our MOAs. That is really great. Uh, we are very low on food right now. So we're going to need to get that sorted out. But with those MOAs, we are ready to do some serious mining. Let's reset our buffs here. Unfortunately, I put all of my berries in the MOA food trough. So I don't have any berries for a stamina buff right now. I'm going to go grab a couple berries, repair my tools, and then we're going to hit a cave for the first time with our MOAs. So I also found a bunch of corn near the base, so I'm going to harvest this up, use this to feed the MOAs for the time being while we're waiting for our soybeans to grow. This should keep them well fed for quite some time. Okay, so we are ready for our maiden voyage here. Let's grab Tahiri here. There's the door behind us. And let's hit up the caves that we've already seen and just grab everything that we can out of those for now. All the remaining iron and coal. And be on our way. And Moas are so great. Look how fast this guy is. We are already at the cave. So when it comes to caving, you definitely want to bring your animal inside the cave with you. Make sure you kill the worms off, but any aggressive animals that spawn... Inside the worm for a second there. Okay. So any aggressive animals that spawn outside the cave will come and attack your MOA, so you want to bring them inside once the coast is clear and do your mining. Alright, that looks about everything we can grab out of there for now. Let's head up to that other cave. I'm gonna take care of some worms here. And get our Moa safely inside the cave. And start mining. just contracted pneumonia, but again, with our MOA, it's not really a problem. 
Um, so there is a bunch of gold in here as well. I don't think I'm going to take the gold quite yet. I might just come back here again another time. Um, but here's another tip. Definitely when you're mining in caves like this, bring some ramps. There's going to be some nodes that are just out of your reach. And if you have some ramps that you can place, or even pillars, um, you can just place it inside the wall like that, walk straight up and mine. And also use it as a sniper point to kill some worms. Very convenient having ramps, as you can tell. And when you're done, you just deconstruct it and use it again in the next place you need it. So when you have a MOA, the downside of the MOA is that it only has two inventory spaces. All the other animals have much larger inventories, the horse, the buffalo. The MOA only has two, but really at the end of the day, um, the animal's inventory doesn't really matter outside of just basically giving you extra inventory slots. The weight Again, um, you can have infinite weight on your character and it doesn't affect the movement speed of your mount at all. So feel free to just gather as much as you want, be as overweight as you want, and ride the mow at max speed home. So that's exactly what I'm going to do. I'm just going to mine up as much of this iron as I can, iron and copper. comfortably make my way home on my own. So, when you're using ramps, you should also have a hammer in case you accidentally damage your ramp. Otherwise, you won't be able to deconstruct it when you're done using it. And in this cave, we have found our first exotics node of the map. Very, very cool. Let's go ahead and snag this. Awesome. 26 exotics. Beautiful. First exotics of the character, first exotics of the map. We're off to a great start. Let's get back to mining. Alright, so we have completely broken our pickaxe. That's all we can do for now. We've got a pretty good haul of iron, copper, a little bit of coal here. Let's hop on our MOA and enjoy our maximum speed back. As you can see, we're totally overweight on the character inventory limit, but the MOA, completely unaffected. Let's zoom on home and get our iron and copper cooking up. All right, we made it back. Got a little visitor outside. Let's go ahead and get our boy back in his pen here. I teleported to the other side of the wall, interesting. Um, he does have some more iron in his inventory. Let's stick that in there. Let's get crafting. All right, we got a bunch of our iron starting to smelt up here. The sun is coming down on this wonderful day. Let's go ahead, hit the sack, let a bunch of that iron ore smelt up for us. And in the morning, let's start looking into expanding this base and turning it into a stone fortress. Alright, we got a storm rolling in. I'm going to start mining up a little bit more stone as well. In preparation as our iron starts to pick up. Once we have a good amount of iron and a good amount of stone, we are going to be ready to start building our new base. I'm also going to take this 
time to make a few of these. Wow, we can make 68. We'll make 10 of these. Get those going. Get rid of our pneumonia. The charcoal back in there. Um, I think I'm just going to leave this fire on and make more charcoal as well. But with that going, we're going to have some repairs to take care of through this storm. But for now, let's just get a little bit more stone and repairs we need. So our first pneumonia antibiotic tonics are finished. Let's go ahead and consume one of these, get rid of our pneumonia. Nice. Pneumonia free. And get back to mining some stone. Alright. It seems like the storm is pretty much blowing over now. All the red sections are over with at least. I'm gonna head back out. Um, do a little bit more stone mining. Let's just dump our current stash of stone in here. We have a pretty good amount of stone. We also have this stack right there. Let's keep mining. Get some XP, get some stone. Let that iron keep smelting. And I'll be back with you guys in a little bit. chores and repairs are taken care of. Let's check in on our iron here. So we have a really good amount now. So I'm actually going to do the math and figure out exactly how much stone and iron we're going to need. I think what I want to make is a 3 by 5 maybe? One, two, three, four. Yeah, it'll be one more across and one more tall. 3x5 structure, and then we'll also need the uh, maybe six walls for the pen. And of course, a little area for our farm. So that'll be a couple more floors that I'll make a farm on as well. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna go take a look at the requirements here, and let's figure out how much we're gonna need. Okay, so I worked through the math. What we're going to need is 380 wood, 1,260 stone, 250 leather, and 424 nails. That's quite a bit. Just craft all this up. Uh, 200, 424, so that's, let's just say 43. Okay, so that's all the nails we need. 250 leather, which we definitely have. 250 leather, exactly. Uh, let's just put all that in there. So stone, we need 1,260. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. That's 1,298. So we have enough stone, actually. That's great. Wood, 380. 1, 2, 300, 400. Okay. And then we're just waiting on our nails, and we can get our stone building pieces going. Let's check in on our Moas here. How's the food looking? Pretty nice. Uh, that's going to be literally every speck of our stone, though. So I think while we're waiting for those nails, let's just gather a little bit more. Alright, so we have our nails. We have everything that we need. So let's start off with 26 floors. We're going to want 22 walls. 10 ramps, 4 angled walls, and 10 pillars. Alright, and that's everything. In just a few short minutes, we're going to have all the pieces for our stone base. 
Okay, and while we're thinking about upgrading our base, I'm actually also going to upgrade our storage solution. So we're going to get wooden cupboards, and we're going to install those all over the new base as well. Alright, so we're making good progress on our crafting here. Um, I'm going to start replacing our flooring. So my plan here is I want to keep the base in the same spot. I'm going to have to destroy our pen here. We're going to move everything out one more square in this direction and out one more square in to the right. And then we'll have an actual roof above our heads as well, not just a flat floor. And that way, we'll have a much more comfortable base. So, let's start replacing our flooring. I think with these wooden pillars in place, we should be okay. But we'll see here. Placing our walls as well here. So it looks like we got the roof up just in time for this lightning storm, fortunately. Let's uh, grab these angled walls and get those on. This is a right. So this is the basic shape of the house. It's not gigantic, but it's certainly much nicer than what we were working with before. So just as the storm comes in, let's take a look at the outside of it. It's looking pretty nice. I want to rearrange some of the windows. I definitely want another pillar here just for the visual sake. But this is what we're working with now. And the best part about it is that when this storm is coming through, we're not even going to have to worry about repairing anymore. Definitely liking how this is looking. So I'm going to work on reorganizing our benches and everything around the new base. Um, I'll try and get the pen for our boys set up as well. But yeah, definitely pleased with the progress we've made so far. It is storming heavy out there and it looks like we have a forest fire on our hands potentially. Sometimes the fire doesn't spread that far and sometimes it consumes the entire forest, so we'll see what we have here. Those two look like they're going to be okay, but this one looks like it might be a problem. Alright, we got our boys back in their pen. I'm going to let them eat up, get some water for them, and get back to reorganizing.
All right, so things are starting to shape up in the base. I just need to basically redo my storage solution here. Um, as you can see, I have all the crafting benches realigned against the wall. And I'm going to craft up a bunch of these wooden cupboards now and create a new storage system for the base as well. So I'm going to gather a bunch of fibers so I can make a ton of ropes and we'll get those storage crates set up as well. And as I was gathering wood um, to make these storage chests, I just hit level 18. We're getting very close to level 20 here. Let's just keep on pushing through this resource gathering and get our new storage solution sorted out. All right, so I finished the construction, at least for now. Um, I've set up my storage solution, and I guess I'll give you guys a tour of what the base is looking like. So you already saw the new animal pen here. So this is all set up over here. Come around on this side. This is where I'm going to be growing my crops. I'm going to make a few more crop plots, have them all set up outside so they can get some sunlight, get some rainwater when the rain comes come in here you can see all of the crafting benches are nicely out of the way we have a ton more floor space for even more crafting benches for when the time comes and I have this nice little compact storage area set up here so what you can do is just do a half wall piece build that up one wall high and then you can just stack a bunch of chests up on the upper shelf and some chests below and it's a really nice um, sort of compact way of having a ton of storage in a very small area so this is uh you know just when it comes to making a nice little starter base like this this is a really good storage solution just have a half wall put your shell extra storage units up on the shelf and then some more below it and you have a ton of storage space more than i need right now way more than i need um but yeah that is the state of the base right now so just take one more look at everything over here I just finished filling up my oxygen canister here close the door and yeah I think that is going to do it for today's episode we made a ton of good progress we got ourselves a couple moas we completely reconstructed the base into stone we have a ton of iron a ton of copper and a ton of coal and we are ready to keep pushing on to level 20. So thank you guys so much for watching. Um, I know this was a little bit more of a relaxed episode compared to the other ones. But sometimes, you know, when you're out in the beautiful world of Icarus, you got to take it a little slow. Enjoy your time building up a new base. And uh, yeah, that's what this game is all about. Just enjoying the survival, enjoying the base building, and making the most of your time on this hostile alien planet. So thank you all again so much for watching and for all the support you've been showing on the series. I'm definitely excited to keep pushing through and as I've been saying, you know, once we've sort of had our fill of Olympus, we've got this character built up, up to level 20, maybe do a couple of missions as well. Um, but once we've sort of accomplish that goal here on Olympus. I think we're going to move on to Prometheus. So thank you guys for sticking with me through this calmer episode, and I hope you look forward to the next one. Goodbye.